like you got prepared. I gotta get my smile on. Good afternoon. How you guys? How you guys doing today? So it is currently almost five o'clock. We are on our way to do a birthing center tour, which is very exciting. Like, I don't know what to expect to be honest. We are in debate of two hospitals in one potential birthing center. This one is probably this, roughly, I would say 40 minutes away. Yep. The, the other one is like, five to seven minutes away. Just because one close don't mean it's the best option. So you gotta weigh your options so that you'll feel good about your decisions and don't have no regrets. So I try to eliminate as much stress as possible. And, and by, it's pretty cool to go in the hospital too. Yeah, it's part of the process. Feel like like a VIP. Yeah, so this is what we are doing today. So we're super excited. So hopefully they let me record and don't be weird, but we'll try to get what we can get y'all because I don't know what to expect. So we are on our way and I guess I uh, will see you once we pull in. Ah, made it but rather late child. Three minutes to spare. Let's see how you did. <laughs> so, how do you feel so far? Um, I was a little bored. Dang. <laughs> Just a little bit, mm -hmm. it wasn't. The actual, it's just the lady that was talking. She was. You weren't paying attention, were you? I was paying attention. I was. So you had three people in your room. You're usually gonna be here two, one or two days. If you're having a vaginal, and if you have a C-section, you're gonna be here for two to three days. And then they got a free doula program, which is like, all right. <laughs> That's the most why you was worried me about that. <laughs> He was giving me way too much, way too much. <laughs> See, I was listening. Yeah, but he was falling asleep low key, but he was listening a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, I'll say you're listening. But, um. There's 16 couples in there, so we, we was packed like sardines. Yeah. So we are getting ready to go and to check out the baby rooms. They said that um, we can't film during the delivery, as I thought they would say. But you can film everything else, but you just have to have consent consent from people. And that might be on the video. Yeah, that might be on it. But we're going to see. Let's Maybe see if we choose this hospital. So we just did the classroom portion. That was about 45 minutes. And then she said we're going to end at 630, <laughs> which is another 45 minutes. But we're going to go see two rooms now. Yeah, two rooms. I guess the suite and maybe like... Maybe the triage room and maybe a... She didn't say which rooms are gonna see. Yeah, she just said I'm just guessing. Two rooms. Maybe a triage room, maybe the mother's room. I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be discreet because this whole group looking at me. It's like a group of people back there. I'm trying to play it off. Let's see. Yeah. So you have to sit on this couch right here. Come on in. My it looks like it. Does it good? Turn into a bed. Come on down this way. Come on in. These are all private rooms. You're going to labor in the room, deliver in the room, and spend two hours in the room after the baby's born. And if the baby's doing great, they'll stay with you in the room. Now rooms 2 through 13 on exterior walls, so they have windows. And rooms 14 through 21 do not have windows. So this is labor and delivery room. And this is what it looks like. And yeah, this is the bathroom. And this is the shower with the peanut balls. Pretty good for me. Yeah, I wanted to see. You're welcome. Good <laughs> Sorry, we just looking at the. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> no problem. We couldn't see. This is a shower. This. Is the 
I like it. I like it. Thank you so yeah, much. You're welcome. You're welcome. And you're welcome. Thank you. This is the waiting area for after delivery. And this is where you put the microwave. In bathroom. And I bet the one by our house will be nicer than this one. Yeah. I just got a feeling that it will be. Yeah. The cafeteria closed at nine. Perfect. Sound good to me. I need to eat something. Thank you. You trying to get corn? Trying to get some vegetables. You want some corn? Yes. <laughs> There's a Boston market like right close to us too. Yeah, but you know cafeteria, uh, hospital cafeterias be bland and stuff, and that's exactly what I like right now. Now, yeah. So I'm excited. So what did you think about? The rooms. Um, uh, I was kind of expecting more. I don't know why. I was disappointed that now the first room that you will see is the labor room, and the second one is the mother room. So I was. Disappointed. I didn't know you were gonna be switching the three different rooms. Thing, <laughs> thing, if I be in the same room. <laughs> this is why we on these tours. Is this the cafeteria? Yeah, this is the menu right there. All right, so we are currently in the cafeteria at the hospital. Mm -hmm. I have gotten you some, what I figured would be bland spaghetti with a couple of broccoli heads and some soda. But now that we settled down, we can actually talk about it. But yeah. I didn't get anything because the food didn't look too good to me. So I'll get something when we leave. Like I was disappointed that I couldn't see the couch because that was like one of the main things I wanted to see. Like to see the couch? Yeah. Mm. I mean, we did see that little chair thing, but like. I guess I was expecting it to look more homey and less hospital. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really think you uh, really liked it. Same. Basic, a little old. Mm. Um, I thought it would look newer in here. It didn't catch me like the room that I remember my sister was in. Cause the room she was in was pretty nice, I could recall. But the first room was the labor room. So it's the room that you'll be preparing to deliver and delivering in. And the second room is where you will be staying after birth, which was really disappointing. I like, I was good with the first room, but the second room was disappointing. We looked so old and so small yeah i didn't like the old uh bed i don't know if i showed that but the old looking bed the bed was smaller it was like a twin size yeah and it's kind of surprising because you expect to spend a day or so in laboring and also two to three days up to in the mom's room so i don't understand why mom's room is so different from labor room i mean i don't know well, at least we came here and saw it first before we get, we just like ended up here with you in labor. And it's just the whole decor, aroma, just feels more like hospital, not and not like uh, I guess labor, homey, baby feeling type of you know area. Mm -hmm. um, I also judge hospitals off of how they smell. If it smells like a hospital, I don't like being in it. <laughs> but if it can smell like a non-hospital just like no smell at all or something like that and then that's good for me i know they try to keep like air fresheners and stuff like that away because some people could be you know allergic or sick but you guys know what i mean when i talk about like a hospital smell so i think me it don't bother me as much because especially me, me, me having that hospital experience a lot when I first was starting to be around hospitals and stuff like that, that shocked me of how you can hit a corner and there'd be like weird smells and stuff like that. I think it might be more so bothersome for him than it is for me. Basically sums up this whole thing, huh? It's in the middle. Also, like he, he kind of biased, like once he get one bad feeling, everything goes down for him. So it's like, it's either all good or all bad. I don't have anything to compare it to yet. So when we go on the next one, 
I kind of think I just have high hopes for the next one since it's by our, by our house mostly and it's brand new. Yeah, I think that was another thing because I think if we would have went to the, the one that's by our house first and then maybe seen the same thing and then came here, he might feel better about this. One. The other difference is this one's just specific for women having babies, women's center, whereas the one by our house is like a full on hospital. So that's the only other change uh, that I can foresee. It may not be as, uh, may not have some of the rooms that you may need or doctors that you may need, but mm -hmm. most people deliver babies in regular hospitals and not women's centers. So. Yeah. So. I am curious about that as well. Yeah. Like, how is it being in the main hospital? I think it's going to look a lot better because it's in a main hospital and not like a specific women's center. And then she said how old this place was. I was like, hey, I didn't know it was that old. Yeah, me neither. She <laughs> said like 1934 or something yeah. like that. Like 80, 90 years old or something like that. I was oh, no. like, whoa, it's been here that long? I didn't think it was that long. I thought it was newer than that. Yeah. All in all, the experience is good. Um, the information was great because they hit all the points that I wanted to know. Yeah, she was very knowledgeable. Yeah, she was very informative, very knowledgeable. I don't know why, but I felt a little bit like the outcast. I think everybody was. I think you think everybody was looking at the camera, but I think they were looking at your makeup. No, I was just saying about the camera. Uh, I think, yeah, I think everybody was looking at your makeup and they're just scared to say something. Yeah, I don't think it's like that. I don't, I don't think it has nothing to do with this. Yeah. I just think, uh, it's a, yeah, it was a little bit of outcast because I felt like everybody was kind of low-key staring at us and it was like, I don't know. It's like that wherever we go. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, because it's coming. in. Your style is good. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, I think I think we just naturally draw attention. It's like they want to say something, <laughs> or it's like, especially because we were trying to be away from the group, and we was only trying to be away so we can be able to catch footage because we didn't want to catch people and stuff like that. And then we wasn't supposed to film, but otherwise, like when we come in the room, like we usually like the energetic one. And I was trying to get the footage for y'all, you guys. We could we could have had some friends, you know. We don't got no friends. We could have friends come doing this for you guys, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. so I think that's gonna be all for this video. We love you guys and I hope you enjoy today. I say enjoy, enjoy today's video of our hospital tour. I hope this gives you an inkling if you've never seen a hospital tour, what yours could potentially look like. And yeah, we'll see you guys <laughs> in the next one. Love you guys. See you guys. Come right to your mama. Just say free black young.